Well, here we're looking at the Dow and we're seeing a good move up and over the prior resistance at 17,000 and we saw it break a little bit, not a huge move, but still broke it. Um, we hit the high of 1708. Um, and, um, you know, we're seeing it really improve a great deal. Um, I want to say that you probably see this come into the 17,200 uh, and 17,250. Watch for those ranges. That's going to be your first significant resistance range. So we have a change in trend for tomorrow um, or Monday. Now, we could see continuation to the target area. And then on Monday, you see this weekend. Uh, that could be a possibility. But um, I would watch that uh, as a big possibility. Um, um, on those or for, for a change of trends on that date. I would watch also for the ranges of the 16,750 level as a very important to try to hold. Um, you know, um, especially the, um, especially this low at 16, um, 16,600. Uh, so I think any pullback, it should try to hold a little bit closer right into there and then should try to kind of make another gas pyre. Um, but uh, again, that could be, you know, a little of an exhaustion there. This is going to be really crucial to see. You know, it's had a very good move and I think there is a p potential for it to continue to do so. But, you know, you, you have to continue to realize that you're stepping in now into some significant resistance of the lows of the major range. Now, that being said, um, I also wanted to kind of discuss, um, you know, uh, the board. There's three stocks on the board. Um, we just liquidated, and at one time we had a, a great deal, of, I think close to 20 on the board. Um, we locked all the profits in there or, you know, exited uh, for the most part all of them. Um, the last ones, we, uh, I'm saying this again, I did talk about it in the S&P video. Just in case people don't, you know, check out the S&P video, maybe some people want to just look at the Dow. But I wanted to make this aware for everybody and make everybody aware that, um, you know, we just locked in and exited on all those trades. Uh, that's about 171% return. Hopefully people were able to take advantage of that and many of you did well. Um, here, what we're going to do is we're kind of in a, in a, in a holding pattern as I don't want to just you know, throw a bunch of stocks on there just for the sake of doing it, because, you know, really, you know, I could throw them out there, the ideas, but you, you know, it has to be successful for you to be, um, you know, uh, you know, to make a profit. And, and that's what I think is really, really crucial here. That's what we try to do. I try to continue it as if, as if it's my money or a, f a family member. And as far as I'm concerned, when we get to this prior range around this, you know, where the support of the 17200 range is, this is not a lot of room before you're going to start to get uh, go bullish or a little too soon to get, you know, to get bearish. So we're kind of at the tail end of this. Of And I also have potential change in trend for the, either the 9th or the 12th, which 9th may hit the target and then we may turn. Um, um, so I just think it's a little premature to get anything. So I just want to let everybody know in case you're all frustrated looking, hey, you know, I wish I had ideas is this weekend blah 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 and you know what are we going to do for monday um you know don't worry about that we you know they they will come and you know when they come they come a lot of them come at the same time that's what we're trying to do we want to be part of the move we don't want to just sit in this you know in the choppiness that's how you get destroyed and you lose your money uh so anyway just wanted to state that because you know it's human nature to be thinking you know hey what's what's going on and why don't we have something else and i just wanted to you know, throw that out there. I also want to kind of point out something that's really serious as far as I'm concerned is that this market is still, in my opinion, very vulnerable to continuation to the downside. Although we're seeing this normal, you know, retest because it has been up, we see the first correction. We've seen long distribution at the top here. So prices have to really break the top for this to continue to be in an uptrend. Although it still isn't an uptrend, it's a vulnerable uptrend because of the first correction. We have to see this correction come out because what happens if we just see this, it's an ABC pattern, and then we start to see the leg continue. That would be, you know, hey, maybe this is your one wave and this is your two wave on the longer term, and now we're going to be sitting in a long corrective three wave. So we have to be very careful in this kind of market, uh, just Keep uh, keep your eyes open and be, you know, be careful in this marketplace. So we're going to do the same.